guys. I hope you are having a great day. Let's go thrifting at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. Oh man, I came in a little bit too late. They've already cleared and thrown away all the stuff that was here. They are putting out new things, but there was probably some good stuff there. Some furniture here today. Looks like there's a little bit of hold on this piece. It's $10 for this. Ooh, this leather sofa. Oh, look. It has some holes right here. I don't see a tag on it though, so somebody might have actually bought that but the color is gorgeous i love that color leather and then this looks like a leather chair right here too it is ten dollars for this piece here's an interesting frame it's a square and a circle and it has this ornate detail at the top it is plastic it's my spray painted red and then gold i don't know what y'all think about it y'all have any ideas for this what could i put in the center right there there's a little teapot pure one it's super cute i love the color of it it's like the perfect off-white i think i'm gonna get that a little christmas piece i think i'm supposed to put a candle in it it's pretty but i think i'm gonna leave that here let's go on the other side let's see what's in these bins Here's a little handmade pottery piece. I do like it, but it's chipped, so I think I'm gonna leave it here. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ooh, 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 y'all. Ooh, an old picture. Look at them, nobody smiling. Look at the bow in that girl's hair. <laughs> this would kind of be some good Halloween decor. Okay, I'm definitely, definitely getting these. I love, love, love rescuing these old pictures. This is an older frame. I actually love the back. So that is a good tip. Definitely look at the back of frames because sometimes they even are way more interesting than the front. You could just pull this off and put a picture right here. I mean, look, look at all that amazingness. Okay, I'm gonna get that as well. Let's see if there's anything else. Look like some cool Reeboks. This looks like some older ones. I'll get those for Ryan, but they definitely look too small for her. There's some, I think these are some wood flowers. All right, they refilled the walls and let's go dig. All right, these are the newer bins that they just put out. And a lot of them look empty. I did dig through the other side already. I'm gonna show y'all I found some stuff there. And now I'm on this side, but I'm finding, like I said, a lot of them are empty. Ooh, what's this? I think that's a pheasant or a quail. I don't know. <laughs> what kind of animal y'all think it is? It's definitely hand done, but I'm not crazy about it. So I'm gonna leave it here. Some more pictures. There's some little seashells, a little lab mug right here. What is this piece? Oh my gosh, look at that little girl with the bunny rabbit. That's adorable, but it's just a print. It doesn't even have a signature or anything on it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it has a few little crinkles and stuff in it. It's adorable, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. All right, this side was the one that was empty. This one I dug through without y'all, so let me show y'all the few things that I did get. Look at this little tiny rusty crusty red lantern. And it was at the top, y'all. It's probably been here for a while. I can't believe nobody snagged that. Super excited over that. Oh, also, I found a bin with some more old prints in it. This one with the two little boys. Look, this looks like a whole family right here. And then this one looks like a soldier and there is some writing on the back of this one. And then I got this little brass piece. I love the patina on it. I think this on a stack of books would just look beautiful. Just to hold coins or rings or something like that. And then, you know, we gotta get some for our girl. Look <laughs> this little baby, Lala Loopsy. How adorable and how precious 
are these little Mary Janes and best part is it's Velcro so she can put them on and off herself. These will be so cute with some little fall and winter outfits. Now I dug through these two sides like I said but I haven't dug through a lot of the other bins yet so I'm gonna go do that now. Let's see some art. They're like reflective. What is this called? This is spring. This is autumn. This is winter. We're missing the Christmas one. I do like these frames though. So. Oh, my husband's here. He found the winter one. I don't know. I don't like, I like the frames, but I don't like the pictures in them. I don't like that reflective-ness or whatever it's called. I decided to get two of these but just for the frames because I have two rabbit prints that I've been looking for the perfect frames and I think this might be it and then I just spotted this football look how cool this thing is I'm gonna get it because I feel like it's taken many years for it to look like this and somebody's you know decorating an office or a party room football room something like that and they're looking for like a cool old football like this so if you're looking for one i got you in the next vintage drop i just found these two art pieces they are absolutely beautiful when you look close at them you can definitely tell that they are pretty old and I do not love the frames or the mats, so I'm either gonna reframe them and remat them, or I'm just gonna remove them all together and just sell the prints. But I love these vintage water looking prints, and I always pick them up when I find them, especially when I find florals. I really, really like this one. I have this kind of stuff all over my house. So definitely when you're looking for art, Look at the prints and just ignore the mat and ignore the frame. If it's not your style, you can definitely fix it. Y'all, look at this little corduroy jumper that I picked up for Wren. How stinking cute is that? Can you see this with a little, maybe like a little turtleneck and some tights with these little Mary Janes? Ugh, so adorable. Holy <laughs> she'll actually wear it. All right, guys, I think that I have searched the entire store and i am going to head out today i feel like it was definitely worth it just to come and save a few of these beautiful pictures and things that would have just gotten thrown away and also really really love this lantern and this football i never come across stuff like this so y'all let me know what was y'all favorite thing that i got today from the goodwill bins i will put a total on the screen of everything um of what it costs for everything in my cart oh, also my husband got a few things too he found some hot wheels oh this one's cute i like this one um so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this shopping trip and i will see y'all in my next thrifting adventure